Okay. This is great tutorial. I like tutorial. But it's it's too simple. It's too basic. I mean yeah, it's ironic I guess to say basic HTML tutorial, but it's too basic, but it's really basic. You're using notepad for fuck's sake. You're going to need to use some like some innovative text editor to use HTML which helps you out. For example, I use this in type to to use my HTML code. And I'm just going to show you how to how it is done. That you're obviously not using bundles and bundles are the simplest thing to know. You need to know which bundle is which one. And there are two bundles. So another thing you're doing wrong is is you're not using charts. Charts, there are people who you who are very visual and if you just type HTML body head body head, they're gonna be what the hell is going on? I need a chart to, to understand what he's doing. And I'm going to do that for you, if you do not mind. We have we have bundles which you did not mention. So there is a one bundle and another bundle. There is each there is bundle. Okay. And then there is X. And then from the two X bun from the one of them there is XHTML because um it, it takes the X from the X bundle and takes and puts in the XHTML. However, there is another bundle, though it stems from the X, it's called just HTML. And it's the simplest bundle to use. XHTML is more advanced, and of course, if we are doing a very simple bundle, we're going to use just HTML. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cross all of the, take all of this out. We don't need this. We don't need X. We don't need XHTML. We don't need that. So. We just need the HTML. 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 HTML stands for hyper text text modification line programming language. And how this is divided is hypertext, text, modification, and then line programming language is just L. So the biggest part is really th to know that it's a line programming language, L. And as you can see, this is funny, but L's is made of two lines. It's an easy way to remember it. Okay. And here you see that it's just lines. Line line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, line six, line seven, line eight. It's very linear. It's made of lines. So it's a line programming language. Let's see I'm I'm explaining the very basics of of HTML. You're just going straight into typing head body. And that's not gonna help anyone. So we're going to go ahead and select the uh, HTML bundle. We don't want that X HTML. We want the HTML because HTML is the very basic. <coughs> okay. So now we can go ahead and type duck type, which you definitely forgot. Duck type is the very basic, and we are going to use HTML, so it's either HTML 4.0, 4.01, .0 and 4.01 is a higher number than 4.0, so we're going to use the smaller one because we are staying simple, aren't we? And after duck type, 
we're going to type now just want to point out see how nice it looks if you have your own selected theme and colors and uh, you can keep it simple but if you just use notepad it's just going to be duck type and then, and then nothing happens nothing happens if you press hotkeys you know it's just so somebody who wants to start programming should learn to use advanced features right away okay some things going on here um notepad froze so going to yeah okay now we're going to now type html and the, the xmls information pops up we obviously need that and we're going to type head you explain head and body i have nothing to go against that but you forgot you can see this in my other videos i also did a diagram of this but you forgot to demonstrate head and body it's very simple yes but i'm going to just make a snowman there's our snowman and here's our we're going to label these now cute of course but sometimes you need this for to be understand so head and then body it's easy easy but it needs to it needs a diagram for people to see and after you use head what do you do okay so you you in include a hello world title so i'm going to take title and say hello hello world and then a p i don't prefer p's p's are unprofessional and old i'm going to introduce the users to divs divs are are too simple but they are 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 basic or they're they're they don't create spaces, undesirable spaces. If you want spaces, it's really simple to add more spaces. You should go ahead and type style equals margins 5px and see it's all like that. And I don't know why you use the p is old fashioned. Oh, I'm going to, it's end. It's vintage. In today's world, nobody likes vintage anymore. So we're going to go ahead and um, go ahead and type in hello world again as you did again and uh, okay you can see the backslash as well it all, it's all the same really now bold you're using strong also a very very old style now what we do is we go span and then we go to style equals font weight bold. this is the new way of doing it it's somebody who's learning html should learn it the right way from the beginning this is bold this is bold and um i this is italicized I, and there's one thing you forgot haha <laughs> you you forgot to mention underline this is underline how about that and now we're going to just test this as you did and we're going to we're going to create a new folder web design directory i had this one in my video but it got deleted again and we're going to save this as a I like to keep charts to charts on my desktop to for me to remember my work ethics. So now we're, this is properly named. Let me just fix this really quick. And we're going to open it up. And as you can see this works just as well. Same source and everything. Yep 
just wanted to point out this friend just wanted to put in a little input well see you guys next time